Hello there, everyone, and thank you for rejoining me here in Old World Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, in which we are playing as the 215th, but as you might be able to see, we're War of the NCR because they were actually justifying on us, and they actually went to war with New Mariposa as well. So I figured, wow, they're not doing very well, but um, you know what? They can go to war with us at any time. We might as well go to war with them as well, and we might push them out as well. Um, but I got some guns to go through, and we are beginning our attacks. Before we get too far, though, they only have 332 divisions max and 1 to 2,000 manpower. We're not probably going to do extremely well, but we'll see what happens as we are generally attacking across the entire frontier. So, yeah. Hopefully we do okay. And we're taking out quite a few enemies as well. Actually, I hate this general. This general sucks. We do have tanks. I figured, you know what? Screw it. Why not? How about there? So, we're going to grind down as much manpower as we possibly can. We've done a lot of damage to them. We personally have done a ton of damage. The new Mariposa group, not so much. Well, we're trying attacks, we're trying to defend, we're trying to do all this stuff, so we'll see what happens, you know? We're not going to be perfect, but you know what? Who needs perfection? Not bad. Ooh, they have quite a few planes. Oh, actually, we actually green air too now. Nice. Very nice. Losses, 71,000 earlier. We do have a cup of green tea, no coffee here for now, but a cup of green tea gives nice and uh, refreshed. And we'll talk about... I did ask you guys yesterday whether what the the title of the video was going to be, but we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll talk about it. Oh, they want to attack us. Oh, boy. That machine gun, eh? Yeah, I've been just doing a lot of research stuff, a lot of technology stuff, so... Um, let's see. We got all that stuff. We're running in hills quite a bit. Narrow ravines, mountains, and hills. I like this one. Let's do that one. Cave... Cavern. My mom calls them caverns. Cavern safe havens. Cool. Let's see what happens with that. Light machine gun is very good, very good, very good. They're going to attack us like crazy still. If we can't win here perfectly, then you know that's okay, but you know, we still like to. 77,000. We've now 5,000 losses. We're doing okay against them here ish. We're still struggling a little bit here too. Over okay, here, we're definitely struggling on this tile as well. Um, they got a lot of divisions of manpower, as you can see. So. Um, here. You can have a loan. Attach yourself. Find yourself. Right around here ish. If you can, get a new commander, George Hatch. You can be inspirational, George. What an inspirational guy. Also, let's do Ripper. The plot of the movie is about a little girl uh, went around stabbing people. That's funny, but Marianne had a better idea. What if you gave everyone a knife, and then that way it was like a huge effing knife fight? Later on in the movie, near the uh, final act, some raiders come in and shoot everyone. The moral of the story, don't bring a knife to a gunfight. And let's do this one too. The Barfly. This one in the pre-war era must have been a crapper to film. Like, there wasn't even very strange mutants and crap back then, right? We could just film regular muties and call it a day. There's a goal we found one of our raids that's ugly enough to play the monster, and we can have a few of our heroic raider champions serve the role of good guys who beat him up for being so god-awfully ugly. Give more stability? Sure. Why not? And do they have any more manpower? They should have literally none now. They have five to, se five to seven. Two? No, five to seven. No, zero. They're out of manpower, which is good. Equipment-wise, we're doing pretty darn well. We're out of fire team weaponry, which does suck. Um, so in the meantime, let's go ahead and keep making a few more millies. Because, well, we need more fire teams. And we're only going to need more from here on out. I also put on Marianne's boys some uh, fire base teams. So that's why they're out of fire equipment. Fire team equipment, so. So we'll see. Down here, what do you need? Uh, awareness. Sure, why not? We'll go with awareness for now. And expert health spider. Very good, very good, very good. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this general eventually. It just only one is not good enough, man. We've lost seven thousand losses versus eighty thousand. We're slowly taking more and more losses. Um, but with them out of manpower, I'm not super concerned because New Mariposa, basically troll worn. They still have some. We're saving nice. Very nice. They have a lot of divisions. They should do okay. Especially since we're attacking them as well, so. Uh, we will see in just a little bit.
Well, everyone, hope you enjoyed that time lapse. It took forever to kill off the she, which is a pain in the butt, but you know what? Whatever. Um, it is what it is, I guess. Oh, they got Tama. But whatever. Oh, we're going to go over to New Vegas just because I was bored and I like, figured, you know what? Why not? Um, we got two days left. Shouldn't take too long. And then we'll go to New Canaan as well. So. And we'll talk about a couple focuses too, and then some comments, such as, thank God, I only had to make a list of all the issues once. Oh, man. Hold on, let's do this one real quick. Now let's come back and do this. So, I'm just going to. Oh. Uh, we did the coast of the Salt Lake. It's been some time since Marianne had been here. At one point in her life, Marianne thought she would have never seen these waters again. For her, it felt nice. Nice. And they're forcing defense here, so it's quite interesting that they're doing that as we're hopefully brutally attacking them. Not enough not enough damage uh, from planes, but whatever. No, oh, they're in civil war. They haven't lost that many guys, but, you know, whatever. They have robots. Warriors of the Tar was what we want to use as well. At one point, we might have fun taking out the Tar Walkers, but really, now it's just kind of sad. The Tar Walkers, sickly sort of travels, have been through a lot. Although, by taking control of the region, we can try to put a stop to the disease spreading through their lands. Yeah, forcing defense was not a good choice for them, but whatever. That's their problem, not ours. 1,000 been lost so far. Is that all? New Vegas. <clears throat> Excuse me. Another comment was, can you play as Eureka after this? I'd like to see the Granite Company, their Enclave, play through. We'll get there eventually. With the Total Blues A to Z, we'll get there eventually. Um, let's do Walkers of the Tar. We should be able to get a claim on these guys as well. Oh, good God. Um, Jesus Christ, I hate this part. Uh, you guys do this. At this point, we're running out of things to research anyways, but whatever. And you guys come there. And you guys, you know, I'll go that extreme. Do that. Be in the center, because you can. And what else? Rooted is... Uh, Mr. Stranger, your awareness for now, and then you guys over here will go. Mr. Stranger, go root as well for now because you can't. Plain stuff, like I said, we're running out of things to research, so let's do all this stuff over here. Get some breaks, good to can, very nice. Cool, and you go right there, and we'll have that done hopefully very soon. Ah, also, like you did, I guess I didn't talk about this earlier, but New Canaan did win here. They actually beat the Wild by themselves. Of course, they're in their little Mormon Alliance thing, but whatever. Um, which is the first time I've ever seen New Canaan actually win back here. It's actually really cool, but you know, whatever. It is what it is. Uh, the Fighting Fury is last stand at Fort McGee. <clears throat> We have a few tapes showing this one. A bit of an action flick showing people shoot each other with some rather fake looking old West style sort of antique guns. Rubbish. We can do something a lot better than that. Let's name some little crap bag town, Fort McGee, do a normal raid, and just kill everyone. We can even hire a band to play live music besides the film equipment, drawing out the blood curling streams. Not of the Fishmen's Revenge. This one was always a bit of a bitch to film since we never had a good enough vista to visit film it in. Now we have a bit of a coast under our turf, we can probably properly to try and emulate the slick. Plot's well, going to be absolute. Uh, ooh, what, my bad. Uh, be about <clears throat> a sweet raider gal fights off the NCR goons coming in from the water. The water is like a personification of the NCR's corruption, symbolism, and crap. You know, right? Yeah. You can also just fly on Lost Hills too, but we'll get there. Let's go ahead. Have fun, shall we? We shall. Um, let's take a look. See anything else here we can do yet? Walls of Jericho. Fresco's Riches. Fresco was one of the earlier uh, cities which was raided by the White Legs. They left behind some real treasures here, things that they, an experienced group of raiders, would have missed easily. Water pumps, supplies, ours and tools, construction materials, we could really put this stuff to good use. Riches of Gold Hill. And our gang, some of Marion's boys are actually wanting to settle down in Gold Hill. Mostly off rumors of raw gold being found somewhere in here. If they want to settle down and make a life for themselves away from raiding, why stop them? They can call us for saviors. <clears throat> the slaves of Lincoln, ironically enough, have practically become smitten with us after a conquest of Lincoln, seeing us as liberators against the tyranny of the White Legs. Nobody's ever really seen us as good guys before. Sort of like, sort of kills the thrill of reading a bit, doesn't it? Finishing up the Happy Trails route. The one last group that's holding off a bit of the happy, old Happy Trails route outside of New Canaan itself, of course. Let's get this up and the walls of Jericho. 
Marianne thought she would never be back here at one point in her life. She may have wanted to burn this place to the ground for what the people did to her, but now she can see that there are many people here still suffering, as she, just as she did. Marianne can do something good with the wealth she has earned in the raids and plunder. Why not take that step? Where is Jericho? Ah. Oh, see? Nice. Beautiful, my friends. Beautiful. Actually, I haven't had a vision to get that. Oh, 120 is not bad. Oh, they're fighting the sleepers too, huh? Keep going on in. Ooh. That's another group right there, isn't it? Now, uh, someone else said the comment of uh, Old World Blues A to Z. You are insane, Mocha Man. And I'm like, yeah. I've had this channel for quite a while now. I'm going to go probably nuts still. Which is totally fine with me. Uh, someone says, I remember early on, you had one general with 26 divisions. But later in the video, from the last video, I noticed you only had 22 divisions. Did I lose four divisions? Did they get encircled or something? I'll be honest. I tried to look at that, and I'm not really sure. I don't remember. I know I was splitting the divisions off each other, or divisions off of generals to get more generals at the time, but maybe? They might have gotten circled and destroyed, in all honesty. Sometimes it does happen. Like, I don't show you everything on screen. Um, so, they might have gotten destroyed. I can't remember if they did or not. I kind of don't think they did, but they might have. So, usually, that's, usually it's because of that, or, like I said, um, I'm just shifting guys around so it just fits everything better. So, that is what it is. And I did ask you guys what the name for the agency was, and overall, I chose the name of Marianne's Talent Agency. Because I think that fit very well. I, mean, I like that name a lot. Oh, Fresco Riches, nice. Fresco, Fresco, Fresco Riches. Should be too longer, too much longer. Oh, God, actually, New Canaan, Lords of to Anip. These guys appear too. Lord's anointed. So these guys and these guys and these guys all have to die. Good God. That's going to be a while, isn't it? Oh, we're making decent headway through these lands, but still. New, New Jerusalem. They're done there. They're doing all right here too. I'm gonna take these guys off and just come on. I was a little laggy too, but whatever. Oh well. Keep going. Oh wow. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff done, which is actually really cool. Let's sit down here too. Just keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. If you can push any faster, that'd be great. In the meantime, after this one, first we're riches. Oh, the wall's Jericho. Yeah, let's go in too. What if we take that as a core for ourselves? Or we just get this one first, and then calls us the saviors. Yeah, we can do that. Arapaho Rollins Federation, huh? Cool. Jackson. Oh god, that's terrible. We gotta go all the way around here through mountains and such. Oh good god. 
water plant, huh? Feels like w w with Jericho, we're grasping the past, but isn't that what everyone else is doing anyways? Our boys can take a few months off the raid to help repair the old water plant. The lifeblood of this town. Scars from the hands of God. Uh, the hands of God were a small Christian raiding, raider gang emanating from the New Kingdom. Rumor has it under the payroll of Rigdon himself. They used to the sin of Jericho to transact the place and install martial law. They left some pretty deep wounds in the community. Let's see if we can mend them. Tracks of the 80s. The 80s, when they are uprooted most of the hands from this town, may have in part worked to save the original 215th chain gangers from our imprisonment on behalf of the hands of God, but in truth, they never had good intentions with Jericho. In recent years, they've used this place with a little more than dirt bike racing. Union Station. When Mary Ann was young, this was where she came into Jericho just decades ago. This used to be a bustling destination for traders across Utah now. A little more to it than the metal on the ground. Hands of God remnants. It seems that the 80s didn't wipe. Uh, didn't wipe very much. Uh, all, all the hands of God. There's still some resistance hiding cells hiding out. These aren't likely to be friendly, though. Lines in the sand. It's hard to say how long these rails will go on for. Some say if you follow them for long enough, you can find the big shots in charge of all this. Riches of trade. Jericho used to be such a rich city before the hands of God built a triangle hold on uh, trade here, and the 80s destroyed the water plant. Perhaps we can recover a bit of that trade. The Great Reservoir. It's been some time since the water plant has been this good. It seems that the 215th really can do some good if they put their minds to it. Operating resistance cells. For some of our tricky happy boys, it felt good to give them an outlet. A real chance to shoot up some bad guys, guys or guys, the resistance. Uh, cells of the hands of God are perfect for that. Finding their hideouts. It's going to take some time to find out all the hands little outposts here in Jericho. Eventually, with enough work, we can uproot them all, though. And Jericho restored. Mary Ann's mother will be proud to see what she has done for this place, ultimately. She took fate by the balls and made her own, her, made her own future. F yeah. Anything up on the right side? No. Well, time for more ships. There goes loads of empty. That's good. Nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Now just go for Jackson. You should probably capture them like just by doing that. Open up there. Store songs. Yes. Not bad. We we're doing way better than I thought we would. I was thinking maybe taking up maybe New Mariposa by this point. Nah. Today, Sequoia is looking a little bigger than just Oklahoma. Hangdogs have done extraordinarily well this campaign. Republic of the Rugan has done very well, as well as Chichen Itza has done okay. Um, we Obviously, we've done really well. Vulpus' Legion is doing okay. Sisters of Steel, they're doing very well. So, um, yeah, it's very interesting saying how at the end of some campaigns, some nations do really well, while other nations just don't perform up to snuff. Follow the Hangdogs. Oh, boy. Oh, Diana's fighting back. Diana can get pretty darn strong. Uh, I think don't have that much manpower either, so. I think it's just a matter of time. Nice, and we got him. Oh, hello. They're ours. No one else's but ours. And we're going to do all these focuses, which would be great. Jericho restored, of course. Oh, it's an autocomplete, too. There you go. And repairing the Snake River Canal. In the 2050s, Utah Salt Lake was a rather reduced level, at a rather reduced level due to the global atmospheric changes. Some forgotten inventor had the bright idea to make a canal stretching from Salt Lake to the Snake River, known as Sna Snake River Canal today. It's been a while since someone has done the repair on this work. Let's see if we can bring it to the working order. Yeah. Origins of the Hands of God. In a fight against the Hands, we've gathered sufficient evidence to point a new cane as the primary contractor of the Hands. Well, I cannot link it to Rigdon personally, just yet. The evidence we do have is enough that our boys are getting somewhere jumpy with, uh, with letting new uh, Canaan linger on our border. Let's wipe them out. Those traders have done enough bad for this region anyways. Ah, uh, a good war with New Canaan anyways, whatever. A cafe of broken dreams. If there's anything Marianne wanted to be when she was younger, it was simply the chance to be a star. To be the sort of woman she chose then not to let anyone else decide her fate. She has had some hardships, but with enough of her personal loot and blunder available, it seems she has finally a good chance of achieving this dream. A little plot of land close by, seeming just the perfect place to open a little diner. A place of refuge for everyone out there whom fate has given a bad hand. And a council for every, 
predators everywhere. You know, maybe the only thing separating Reddit from anyone else is just being given a bad hand in life. People treat us like monsters. They hate us because they ain't us, sort of mindset. Perhaps we can change that, show the world that anyone can rise up in society if they can are just strong enough. A message of solidarity to raid raiders broken and mad everywhere. Also, I'm going to be honest here. The amount of caps we need is insane. Um, I guess we're supposed to be raiding a whole bunch, but I don't really care. So I'm going to probably use cons commands when we get there. And there we have it, everyone. The focus tree is done. I had to use cons commands for this last one. The counts are for raiders everywhere, but... Uh, as you can see, sophisticated industry tech, construction tech, exploitation tech, which I wish we got earlier on, but... Splendid Raider Society will be known as Splendid Raider Society. That's us! Did you know that we actually only end with three national spirits, and they're the generic national spirits for every nation, but... I think that's going to be it for us in this campaign. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching, have a great, great, great rest of your day.